polyhedras? Can we build it? Yes, we can! Non polyhedras? Can we build it? Yes, we can! We couldn't build non polyhedras, they have curves. Okay, we have created 3D shapes. This is a rectangular prism, and we're seeing what happens when you dip a 3D shape into the bubbles. We originally tried it so that we could get the faces to show on the 3D shape, but what we learned is it actually shows something different from the faces, but still totally awesome. And so Damien's going to dip it, and he has to submerge it all the way under the bubble solution. And now lift it up and let's see what it did this time. Lift it real high. Oh, that time it did the faces. The first, it likes the first the time it did the faces. It likes the camera. And so this enables us to count the faces. And so we can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six faces. And Whoa. you should spin, spin me around. <laughs> What are you doing, Damien? We want to make one of those. See, I know, really, really cool. Sure. So the face has turned out perfect this time. Sometimes it makes a different geometrical shape, and it can be it can be pretty cool. So we'll film another one here in a second to show you what else it can do. So everybody say, 3D geometry is cool. 3D geometry is cool. Okay, this is um, who can name the shape? Triangular prism. Very good. It's triangular prism. Um, we have learned that it has nine edges, five faces, and six vertices. And we're going to dip and see what happens. Perhaps the faces will show, but sometimes when you dip it, it makes unusual geometric patterns in the middle. So we're going to just try it and find out. Let's go ahead and dip it, Paula. So, oh, I love how you submerged it all the way under. Good job. Go ahead and pull it out. Ooh, very cool. Here, let's rotate it to the side. I'm going to rotate it the other way. This way, Paula. Toward the camera. There you go, sweetie. So, did it make the faces or did it make a cool shape? Cool, cool shape. shape. Very cool. So, it's kind of coming together and making a center edge right in there. Like and a hex I mean, not a hex well, it's making rectangles on this side, but it's making little triangles on that side. Very cool. So it's kind of pulling it together. To make another shape. To make another shape, to make a different shape. Very cool. Very nice job. Bravo. And this is our, what is it called again, kids? Triangular prism. Triangular prism. Bravo. Okay, Damien, what type of shape is this? Hexagonal. Very good. Nestor, how many edges does it have? 18 edges. Julia, how many vertices does it have? It 12 vertices. Very good. How many faces does it have, Spencer? Eight. It has eight faces. Um, and Julia, you're our dipper today, right? So let's go ahead and dip this and let's see what happens when we dip it into a bubble solution. Submerge it. Very good. Oh, very cool. This looks so cool. You can see. Very cool. Let's see if it can. Wow! <laughs> How fun is that? Yeah, that is really cool. Very cool. Here, we'll dip it one more time, see if something different happens in the dip. Okay, you want to pull it up, Julia? Very cool. It's, it's not pulling um, the bubbles into this part of the shape but it's getting the faces of the rest of the shape and of the bottom. Very cool. Here, let's bounce it and see what happens. Oh, okay. let's see. Oh, so cool. Very cool, very cool. Thank you. Okay, we have built um, a square pyramid and we decided to color the food coloring green to see if we can't let the bubble mix um, really show up between the straws. So we're going to just test it out now. And so Spencer, go ahead and dip. It needs to submerge, go below the water and pull it out. So cool. Yeah, it's close cool at the, bot the bottom. It's there, but you can't see it. You can't. So it didn't. The bubble. The shape didn't really show up with the bubbles, did it? No. Oh, look! I was just able to move that, and it still didn't break. 
Let me see, does that side, that side doesn't have any. Do you want to dip it one more time? So we can see it. I don't know if it's going to show up on the film, but we can certainly see it. Now pull it up. I don't want this paper clip to move. There you go. Very cool. Can you guys see that? Do you guys see it? Yeah, it's like everywhere. Can you see it underneath? Yeah. Yes. Very cool. So the bubble mixture fills in the area of the shapes that are put together to make the 3D look, to make the 3D figure. Very cool. Nice job. Okay, how many edges does it have? Very good. How many vertices does it have? Five. Very good. How many faces does it have? Five. Very good. Awesome. Go ahead and turn it off. Okay, Jeremiah. Your group made a square pyramid, and then I sent you away, and I asked you to take that square pyramid and turn it into a triangular pyramid. What did you have to do to make this a triangular pyramid? All we had to do was take one off the bottom and one off the sides. Very good. Then we had to get more putty and connect it. Very good. And what is the name of the shape, Stephanie? Triangular pyramid. Very good. Sean, how many faces does this have? It has... Four faces. Very good. Brianna, how many edges does it have? It has four. Come up and count them with your finger. One, two, three. Very good for vertices. You just counted the vertices. Let me read let me ask my question another way. Edges are the sides of the shape. How many edges are there? Very good. So there are six edges. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dip. Very cool. Bounce it, bounce it. <laughs> Very cool. And so I really like it. It's made little pyramids right inside the shape. Little, almost like little trifold hats. Okay, we discovered something about our bubble solution that's kind of cool. We're going to see if it will work. Brianna's going to film the water. And I'm going to dip this into the water and pull up. And we noticed it will make a hemisphere. Pretty cool. And then we noticed that if we, if we shake our rectangular prism, it sometimes will pop out a bubble. Oh, one more time. Oh, it did. Do you guys see him fly? Yes. Very cool. Clap that one. We'll do it one more time. Oh, did you see him? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Awesome job. Thank you, Brianna.